Now I've already added something that I'm going to mention to you here. Scene 1, basically, Scene 1. And if I click up here now, this is my scoreboard movie clip. You can see up here in the property window it says scoreboard. And I double clicked on it to go into symbol editing mode. So Scene 1, now I'm in MC scoreboard. And I copied and pasted these two pieces right here, static text box and a dynamic text box and pasted it and then I changed the, the static text to level and then I changed the dynamic text I made it a little bit smarter by uh, smaller by double clicking on it and um, compressing it a little bit or just dragging it over and I've also changed the name of it I'm gonna get my uh, arrow tool here my selection tool select it and you can see I changed the name to level underscore text so this is going to track what level we're on in our game as we advance and get to higher and higher levels so it's called level underscore text so I'll go back to scene one now and it's inside this movie clip notice I can drag it around right and this movie clips called scoreboard so now in our code if we go into our code and we'll go down to where we level up this is the, the this is the um, code that moves the lasers right and if aliens if the alien count gets to zero then we move up a level and this is where we want to increment our scoreboard so game level plus plus and then we'll say scoreboard dot level underscore txt dot text equals game level alright and I need to spell that correctly of course all right, and let's see if that works. So now we'll just hit Control Enter, quickly test this out. All right, and now you can see up here it says level two, right? Now it started off at level zero, right? And that's no good. So we probably want to set that right away to level one instead of level zero. So we'll go back into our code and we'll go to actions and we'll go up to the top and right after we set the game level equal to one and the game lives equal to three and then we changed MC lives let's also change the scoreboard so scoreboard dot level underscore txt dot text equals let's see here game level alright so now when we oops gotta spell that correctly scoreboard dot level underscore txt dot text so now when we start it up game level equals one alright perfect okay now let's talk about getting some sound in our game so for sound in my library you'll see that down here I've got two sounds in a sound folder that I've imported into my movie um, an enemy spawn sound right here and this laser sound right here. Now you can get sounds from websites on on the internet, um, free sounds at places like flashkit.com or SoundSnap. And of course, there's some rules as long as the sounds are being used for a um, not for sale game, right? As long as it's not a, a money making situation, you can use certain some of these sounds for free, or you can see what each developer of, of um, sounds and sound effects on the web, you know, what rules they have involved. So, anyway, I've imported these sounds into Flash. How do you do that? Well, you basically go File, Import, and then Import to Library, right? And you can import a WAV file you can import a mp3 file you can import all kinds of things and so right here in this enemy spawn and this laser sound you can see that they're wave files if I right click on one of these and go to properties we can see that it is a wave file it gives us some properties of it you can see it's mono not stereo it's only one sound wave right and I've given it the identifier uh, linkage export for action script export in frame one and I've given it the identifier laser underscore sound. Now if I want to, I can make this file a lot smaller, right? Right now it's 1.8 kilobits or kilobytes. If I change it to an MP3 file, so have Flash compress it for me, and now it'll be 18% of its original size. So that might be nice. And we can test it out. Alright, it still sounds just as good, right? But it's MP3, so it's going to be a lot smaller when it's exported for runtime. 
So that's nice. So I'm going to do that, right? Laser underscore sound. And then let's look at the other one, the enemy spawn sound. We'll go to properties. And this one is 62.6 kilobytes. So we'll, we'll also turn that into an MP3, right? And its identifier, export for action script, export in frame one is spawn underscore sound, right? And we'll test that out. All right, that sounds good. So I'll click OK. And so now we've got some sounds in our library that we can use. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Game On, and we're going to create a sound manager to handle our sounds. So right here at the top of our code, we've got our init function where we initialize everything. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set some depth here. So what I'll do is I'll say sound manager depth equals and we'll say 300 all right sound manager depth equals 300 and maybe instead of spelling that out like that I'll do sound MGR for manager or maybe just sound depth equals 300 that sounds good and right here where we hit say create hero create aliens right what we're also gonna do is we're gonna say create capital S sound manager and we're gonna call a function saying create sound manager basically um, calling a function that we haven't written yet we need to write this function now create sound manager so that is all in the init function. And so what we'll do now is we'll go right below the init function, right above the function create hero, or we could do this at the bottom of our code, but we'll just do it right here and we'll say function create capital S sound manager. All right, and that's open and close parentheses, open curly brace, and then close curly brace. So there's the structure of our function, function create sound manager. And what we're going to do is right at the top we'll say create empty movie clip. Now that's create empty movie clip with a capital E, capital M, and a capital C. And let me see here, that's not turning blue. So for some reason that's not turning blue, but it's spelled correctly create empty movie clip it needs a capital E capital M and a capital C right and we're gonna create an empty movie clip and we'll say we're gonna call it sound manager manager with a capital M and then we're gonna put it at the depth level and we're gonna put it at sound depth which is the sound depth that we created which is actually gonna be equal to 300 so the depth level is like a stacking order almost like a layer so it's kinda of like saying we're gonna put an empty movie clip named sound manager at layer 300 let's say but it's not really a layer okay then what we're gonna do is okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say sound manager which is this empty movie clip that we just created sound manager dot create empty movie clip so we're creating another empty movie clip and this movie clip that we're creating is going to be for our laser sound so we'll say so for, we'll call it laser and then we're going to set it it needs a depth level so we're gonna set it to sound depth plus plus so if sound depth was equal to 300 right then this is going to be equal to 301 let's say so we say sound manager create empty movie clip laser set it to 301 depth level each each object needs its own depth level or basically layer sound manager dot laser right we just created an empty movie clip called laser and so inside of our sound manager movie clip which is empty is our laser movie clip and then inside that we're gonna say my sound equals new 
sound object or sound class new sound sound manager dot laser dot my sound equals a new sound sound manager dot laser so we set sound manager dot laser to a sound object as part of the sound class and now it will inherit everything that it gets from the sound object or the, from the sound class and now what we can do is we can attach a sound to it so we'll say we'll copy this copy paste dot attach sound and we'll just say the sound from the library laser underscore sound so now we have the sound laser sound attached from the library right attached into a movie clip that is sound manager dot laser dot my sound and that's how it and that's where it exists so now all we have to do is call it and we also this sound is actually a little bit loud on the loud side so what I'm also going to do is I'm going to set the volume for it copy this copy paste and we'll set the volume for it set volume to 10% because it's a little bit loud whoops gotta put that semicolon on the outside so there it is so now we've created the sound manager where we can put all of our sounds and now and let's do another one here so we have that we have this one I'll copy all this and we'll paste it right here I'll put an extra space here so you can see it but we'll create another one for spawn and we'll set it to spawn it's going to be called spawn we have to change that okay the spawn sound and I believe with the spawn sound it's not loud enough where it needs to have the volume set so that creates two movie clips for our sound manager movie clip that we place inside our sound manager movie clip we have a a movie clip for laser and a movie clip for spawn and inside of that we created a sound object called my sound for each one and then we attached a sound to that sound object and so now all we have to do is call, uh, call it from the movie when we need it so when do we need it so this is when we need it we'll go down in our code and we'll look when do we need the laser sound well that's pretty easy whenever we create the laser we need a laser sound to be created so we'll say after the laser account is incremented we could say sound manager dot laser dot my sound object for it dot start alright and that's gonna call the sound for when a laser is created every time the function create laser is called and a laser is created and placed on the stage we're also gonna play the sound. So let's see if it works. So we hit control enter and we click around and we move around and you can see that now every time I shoot a laser the sound object is created.